Look out! There's a new version of Outlook out, and it's got a whole new look. You may notice a few of the changes right away. The navigation pane here is now collapsible. And there's a to-do bar over here to help you keep track of things. Wondering what else is new? The first time you create a new message or open one you receive, you'll notice some really big changes. I'll click New here and show you exactly what I mean. The top of the window for this new message is where the new design is most obvious. This area here, called the ribbon, displays the commands you need and keeps them in front of you. To help you better understand how to use the ribbon, let's look at its three basic components. First, you'll see that there are tabs here at the top. Each tab is focused on a major activity area. Second, on the tabs are commands and buttons, like paste, bold, or this font list. Finally, notice that the commands are organized into groups. The groups are named. For example, here you see the clipboard group, the basic text group, and the names group. The commands and buttons you see on this top tab, message, are the ones you're likely to use most often. There's one last thing to notice about the groups, and that's this symbol here. When you see this, it means you have more things to choose from. I'll click it now to show you what I mean. Want to use an engraving effect in your message? No problem. It's here. But because research showed that engrave is used infrequently, it's tucked away. By keeping the ribbon uncluttered, it's easier to find everyday commands more quickly. You'll notice that the ribbon shows you tabs and commands appropriate for what you're doing. For example, when you're writing an email message, you'll see the Message and Options tabs. As you switch to different areas of Outlook, like the calendar, you'll see different tabs on the ribbon. Here's an appointment called Client Meeting. I'll double-click it to open it. Logically enough, it has an Appointment tab. Groups and commands here help you work with calendar entries. For example, to change the reminder time for this appointment, I click here. And then I click Save and Close to save the change. Now I'll switch to Contacts. I double-click, and here you see the Contact tab. You're probably getting the idea now. The groups and commands here are appropriate for working with a contact. Prominent commands make it easy for me to email, set up a meeting, or follow up with this contact. Now that you know more about the ribbon, I'll switch back to email and show you just how easy it is to get things done with it. I click New to create a new message. Then I'll use the address book to add names. Judy, Bob. OK. I type a subject. Oh, and notice my default signature. This automatically appears at the end of each new message I create. To set this up, I used the Signature command located here. Now back to my message. I need to attach the PowerPoint presentation we'll be using at the conference. First, I'll add a bit of introductory text. Then I click Attach, click File, select the file, click Insert, and there's my attachment. Now I'll include my own name in the BCC box. In this version of Outlook, I can easily add a BCC box by clicking Options and clicking Show BCC. I also want to insert a picture in line with the text of my message. I position the insertion point in the body of the message, type my text, click the Insert tab, and click Picture. I find my picture, select it, and click Insert. And there's my picture. Also notice that along with the picture, Picture tools appear, giving me access to groups and commands useful for editing the picture. That's all part of Outlook's new design. I see commands when and where I need them. And here's something I love. I can preview different picture styles before I choose which one to use. I just scroll through the styles, like this, until I find one I like. There, that's a nice one. I'll use that. When I'm satisfied with my picture, I just click away from it and the picture tools go away. Now I'm ready to send this message, but before I do, let me draw your attention to the Quick Access Toolbar. The Quick Access Toolbar is always present. Why? Because some commands, such as Save, are so useful that you want them visible all the time. 
A few commands, save, undo, and repeat, are on the quick access toolbar right from the start. And with a simple right click, you can easily add your favorite commands. For example, I can easily add the BCC command. I click Options, right click Show BCC, and click Add to Quick Access Toolbar. There. Showing or hiding BCC is easier than ever. And I'll click Send to send my message. You've seen how Outlook's new design helped me create and send a message quickly. Now I'll open this message and we'll take a look at how the new design helps with received messages too. Let's start with the Quick Access Toolbar. You'll notice that the previous and next buttons become visible to help you read your mail. Notice anything missing? The BCC button isn't there. That's because your needs for a received message, like this one, are different from your needs for a message you're sending. Different needs mean different buttons. You've probably guessed what I'm going to say next. The ribbon for received messages contains groups and commands useful for dealing with messages you receive. For example, respond and actions help you process the received message. I've got a folder for messages about the spring conference, so I'll use the move to folder command to file this message there. With the click of a button, it's done. You've seen that Outlook's new look is not just for looks. The design helps you get things done quickly and efficiently. Now it's your turn to try it for yourself. See just how easy it is.